this project I started with a 9 inch diameter round mold that I had picked up on Amazon. It's a silicone mold and the best way to clean it out to get debris or little pieces of um, resin out is by using some painter's tape and just kind of dabbing around wherever you see some sediment and that's the best way not to scratch it because if you use your finger to get that um, resin pieces off you could scratch the mold and damage it. So prior to this I had mixed up four ounces of resin. This is J Diction resin and this actually cures in 24 hours and you can demold it in four hours. Um, so I just went ahead and poured that inside and this is supposed to sit at temperatures between 70 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, I use the heat gun to get rid of the bubbles, and this heat gun is actually an embossing tool that I picked up on Amazon. I like this better than the heat gun. It's a little less cumbersome, and it doesn't blow as hard as the heat gun does, so if you have glass on your project, it won't blow the glass into another position. Everything I use in this video is linked under the description, and I also have a 10% off coupon code for the J Diction resin. Now the resin has sat for over four hours and I'm ready to move on to the next step. Next I gathered my beads and my glass. Now about, oh gosh, probably almost a year ago I made a, a great big old window with some tall sunflowers in it and this is some of the glass and beads that I have left over. And um, what I do with the beads here is I pull all of the gold beads out and just use the black beads because when I uh, make the sunflower I want the black beads on the bottom and the gold beads on the top. And after I did this and it set up, I realized I shouldn't have done it that way because now you can't see any gold beads from the back of it. But So that's just um, some, some, some advice for you <laughs> is to put gold beads on the bottom too. Now the yellow glass you see there I had also used for my sunflowers. It was actually clear tumbled glass that I uh, cut a second time and made it into th long thin strips for the sunflowers, retumbled it and then sprayed it with the Krylon stained glass spray paint. So all the glass and most of the jewelry that I use in my videos I pick up at garage sales and thrift stores. So the beads that I have for this video though I did purchase at Hobby Lobby. So after I've separated all the beads, then I start assembling my flower. And of course, I'm doing this on top of the resin layer that I had previously put in there, poured, and now it's set up. And the reason I didn't want it, I just didn't want to put the glass directly onto the, um, onto the mold because I want to make this kind of thick so that we can put some eye hooks at the top and actually hang this in a window. So after I was done putting all the yellow glass on, I took it in the back room to prepare the resin before I put the beads on. I didn't want the beads to roll all over the place, so I figured if I put some resin in the center before I laid them down, then they would stick where I put them. So the resin I'm using for this project is J Diction resin. And the reason I'm using the J Diction resin is I found that it is um, least likely to yellow if it's exposed to any sun. And uh, I did a video um, on this prior to making up these little hangings that are going to go in the window. They're not going to be in any direct sunlight, but in windows um, that get indirect sunlight. So anyway, I poured the resin down in the uh, center and then started putting the beads on. And what I did was I put the um, just the black beads down first, the resin, then the black beads, and then the gold beads on the very top. And like I said, I had separated them, and I shouldn't have separated them. I should have just... Uh, put them in as they were and let them fall where they did because then you would have been able to see gold beads from the back and I just wasn't thinking at the time. So that's just a tip for you if you decide to make the same project. So once all the beads are in place and I've drizzled resin over it, then I continue to drizzle the resin over the pieces of glass and I believe I use another four ounces 
maybe even five ounces uh, to finish off the project. Like I said, I want the two layers to be fairly thick so that I can put eye screws in it and hang it. And then I took a little bit of glitter and sprinkled it over the center of the flower. I don't know if it really made a difference. I'm thinking I should have used the glitter glass instead. And then I used the heat gun to get rid of the bubbles. And after six hours or so, I went ahead and demolded it. And like I said, this you uh, it says you can demold it after four hours, but to me it still seems a little bit sticky. I think if it's closer to six hours, you're better off. And didn't that turn out pretty? So next my husband drilled a couple little holes in the bottom where I had marked the spots. And these are to put the eye hooks in. And um, it's really pretty simple to do. And the eye hooks are if you want to hang it from a chain. Now, you don't necessarily have to. You could lean it up against, uh, you know, lean it up on a shelf against a wall. And this is what it looks like with the eye hooks. And then I went through my chains. I have a bunch of junk jewelry that I've picked up at garage sales. These I haven't even untangled yet. And I untangled them and then um, disconnected the length that I wanted ran it through the eye hooks and then reconnected it at the very top with that little round uh, gold circle there. When you do it like that, you can have either a short one or a long loop, whichever you want as far as uh, hanging it goes. <laughs> so I think this turned out real cute. And as I said in my last video, what got me thinking about doing this on um, just a round resin mold was because I'd been looking at a bunch of fused glass um, things on Pinterest and that, and I just thought, wow, why can't we do that on resin instead of glass? Um, so with, with fused glass, they use a clear piece of glass and then they layer it with multicolored glass to create a flower, a scene, um, you know, um, something. They use it just to create a picture. and. Uh, then they put it in a kiln and it's fused together with heat. And I thought, well, that would be cool. We could do something like that on resin without a frame and it would look, you know, kind of like fused glass. And had I not um, put these on, what I did was I ordered a stand for this to go into, but I thought, oh, it'd be a cute idea to hang it. But after I saw how cute they look in a stand, I almost think I would have just kept it in the stand and not put the uh, chain on it. Because look at that. Isn't that cute? Just like that, you could have it sitting on a table uh, on display. I think that is so pretty. And it looks just as pretty, you know, from the front as the back. The only thing I think I had told you guys that um, I only put the gold beads on the front because why waste them and not thinking that you would see it from the back. So put the gold beads on the back too. But anyway, I just think that turned out real cute. So if you're wanting to do something like this, what I've learned is that even though, um, so this is an eight inch stand. When you go on Amazon, and I'll have this all linked under the, the description. When you go on Amazon, the different stands come in eight, 10, 12 inch stands. They, they might even come bigger, might even come smaller, I'm not sure but um, they're even numbers. And this was a nine inch mold. So I thought, oh, that's a nine inch mold. Well, it's not gonna fit in an eight inch stand. They don't have a nine inch stand, but this is really eight inches across. So the mold has a lip on it. And if you measure the lip and why you would do that, I have no idea. It is nine inches. The actual diameter um, is nine inches, but the inside diameter is eight inches. So this is was made in an, um, it is listed on Amazon as a nine inch mold, but don't let that fool you. Like I said, I'll put it in the description and it goes into an eight inch um, holder. So I just think that is so cute. And when you get this, um, these you can adjust. So I don't know if you can see that. I've had to spread them out a little bit because mine were thick, but you can actually squeeze it. Use the little pliers and squeeze it. It comes more together. I had to separate it to put it in there right. But um, anyway, I just think that turns, turned out so cool. If you guys have any um, ideas, suggestions, I love to hear from you. I love to see what you guys are making. My email's under my about information. And um, 
if you uh, if if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a, a thumbs up, a like. That really helps the channel. And if you enjoyed the video or just like the channel, go ahead and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.